Hello, and welcome to another Gundam Battle Operation 2 video. That is the R Jarja again. The Arb Blarb. Um, and yeah, I got a nice little paint scheme on it that I thought it looked cool. And uh, I don't even know what that icon's called. I think it's called Phantom Sweep or something like that. But yeah, we're going to be uh, rocking out the R Jarja in a uh, 550 match. And it's going to be Ace. Uh, and I do pretty good. Let's, I mean, well, it's the R Jarja, of course, so. <laughs> Of course we're going to be doing pretty good and uh, of course if you haven't heard it's a really good suit uh, insane melee uh, potential it's a very uh, dangerous suit to go on a 1v1 against uh, if the person knows what they're doing of course sometimes I don't so uh, my, my uh, opponents can get away from it <laughs> they'll get away scot-free and uh, we got two raid types on our team, but you know what? The R charges, I don't even like, consider that a raid type at this point, depending on how the person plays. Uh, that's just another general. <laughs> another uh, Mark II. Not a Mark II. It's an all, uh, it's a triple, uh, triple suit. <laughs> triple changer. Uh, let's see what we can do here. We got captured the uh, B and C, but the enemy looks like, yeah, they're rushing towards D. And number four is, uh, looks like, yeah, he's already dead. Uh, that's a shame. Poor unit five. He has to stand still to shoot his minigun off. Unless he wants to use that beam rifle. He probably got killed using the minigun. See, we got a, uh, I think that's a Mark II. <laughs> Mark II. We gotta be careful with him. Did I just eat his laser? That looked like he disappeared. Anyway, we're gonna come up here because I think the DJ is coming around. And, uh, of course, I try to flank and accidentally shoot the DJ. <laughs> well, let's see if we can uh, wait for him to get back up and we'll uh, shoot him again. Because I still have seven shots left that I can fully charge at any moment. Alright, here comes the downswing. 3,000 damage and he is dead. That downswing, I don't know how that, sh that fucking beam saber downswing should not have hit. And that, that that's ridiculous. Uh, I, I I've seen some you know down swings that look like they shouldn't hit. That should not have hit. <laughs> I do, I don't know how it hits a suit that low. But yeah, we hit them and uh, looks like they cleaned up our team for the most part. So I have to me and my uh, DJ have to fend for a little bit. Distract the team. Looks like oh never mind. Here comes a Mark Three. Hopefully to force that uh, Mark Two to do something and he does he does a dodge roll and right into my uh, my hands stun him again here comes the downswing there goes his shield and uh, let's finish him off there we go mark two destroyed which this thing can fight mark twos which is spectacular <laughs> oh man you can like destroy a shield in, like one swipe we have a uh, zero shiki up here let's go deal with that real quick because, um, I mean, I can stun faster than you can. You take three shots to stun, I just take two stot, two stots, yeah, two snots. And, uh, I'm going to miss my shots, though. But you know what? MLRS is on top of it. He stunned him, and I finished him off. And I will say, the, uh, this suit has a pretty nice, uh, animate, ending animation when it does its downswing. I think you'll see it here in a bit. I was talking about it in some video I think but it looks pretty nice okay mark 2 is dead again maybe that was a GPO one whichever they're both kinda the same thing except one can do like a double dodge roll I think got a guy fighting over here okay yeah you'll see it here this guy backs away oh never mind not yet but now he's gonna back away he's gonna get stunned he's gonna go off the cliff here I'm gonna follow up on him cause now he did his dodge roll and he's gonna get uh, that's free reign here comes the the ninja chop <laughs> and the uh, yep pose on him while there's an explosion in front of me, which is a uh, that's a pretty pretty badass pose actually. Now the suit's definitely OP. Now they can pose after every hit. <laughs> that's the that's the best part about it. And there's that Zero Shiki again. He's gonna do his dodge roll. Then he's gonna get uh, staggered. He's gonna get a little poke, a little poke. There's a set for the Gundam there, which, uh, that's a support type, and a support type to this suit is literally nothing. Although, I do, uh, play a little bit more, less than I thought I was. Alright, he's almost dead. DJ, I thought, I think, he thought that he, uh, 
that I was going to finish him off like it was going to be easy, but he, I'm going to put up a little bit of a struggle against this. Uh, can't think of the name, the Seventh Gundam, yeah. Which, uh, of course, it's, you know, the Seventh Gundam. That's what, uh, it's, it can fight. So it's one of those supports that can fight a little bit. And it fought a little bit, and, you know, he did some great damage against me. Oh, that's sad. Uh, <laughs> he did his dodge roll, still took the full damage. And he is almost dead from just spawning in. And here comes the worst part. <laughs> You'll see right here. Me and him are the aces. And he's about to die, and he is dead. That is, uh... <laughs> Ace is dead. We got uh, extra 50 points from that because uh, I was the ace that got the kill. This Mark II is looking, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty good. He did his dodge roll. Oh, my downswing didn't hit. I would have been very shocked if that actually hit, but, you know, <laughs> maybe it's just a mistake on the game's part. Uh, I was going to finish off this Mark II, or try to, but then I got killed by, I believe, a Gabaldi Beta, which... The Baldi Beta is at 550 is a very dangerous choice now. You have to be very careful with it. Especially with this suit running around. This thing's got top priority as well. <laughs> For some reason. With all of its other fucking amazing abilities it has. It has top priority too. Which I mean, it's a raid type so. And it's melee oriented so I guess it makes sense. But if you put that with his other skills, man, it's just over the top. Alright, let's go throw some missiles over this way. Didn't hit anything. But uh, our teammate's ha having some trouble over here against this Mark II, I think. Yeah, he's going to be hiding, so I'm going to come around the other way. See if I can uh, catch him backing up from a uh, stun or something like that. Mark III's backing away. Here we are. Here comes that big old slice. <laughs> Almost 4,000 damage. He is dead. We got an assist off of that. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> this suit, man. There's the seventh Gundam again, which I'm going to lay some damage on him. I don't believe I get an assist out of him. Here comes the enemy ace again, the zero, the zero Shiki. And uh, unfortunately, I missed my kill. Somebody else is going to kill him. So we got the, a kill on the ace. We are 5,000 points ahead. They can make it up. Perhaps if their uh, ace is on top of the ball, their team's on the got to be on the ball too. Seventh Gundam missed my uh, pick. I thought he was gonna do his boost, but nope. Oh, I hit him! Wow. Okay, I hit the Shiki. I'm well, not the Seventh Gundam. And then, uh, of course, me and the Gabaldi Beta have top priority, so we didn't do anything to each other. We got downswung by uh, my teammate. We're gonna counter the Mark II. Get out of here, sir. I think that's GPO one actually. Whichever it is. <laughs> The Wally Beta came after me. Uh, surprised I didn't stun him from hitting him twice. It might be because he did a dodge roll, but he is dead now. Uh, let's slice down this guy. There goes his shield. Got stunned by Zero Shiki coming up on me. Really wants to kill me. I mean, I am like 2,000 health here. Got the kill on the Mark II or GPO1, whichever. That's another kill for us. And then uh, this ace. Oh, got another assist too. Wow, okay. And uh, this ace thought he can beat my priority, and uh, no, he's going to get down swung. <laughs> Back down to the ground. And, uh, ooh, yeah, that's a good work, and that's a I love you, too. <laughs> I love you. And uh, here we are. Mission completed. <laughs> wow, yeah, this suit. And uh, top individual, top assist, top damage. I, no doubt in my mind at all. Uh, from that play we did, and I'm gonna praise my teammates. I'm gonna praise the MLRS and the uh, the DJ. They're pretty helpful. And uh, yeah, first place with eight kills, one death. Uh, <laughs> the rival was the enemy A, so you can compare the scores there. Uh, yeah, uh, this suit is fucking busted. Maybe not like busted, busted. Like, oh, man, this suit is uh, fucking top of the line. <laughs> the cream of the crop man that was a that was just a little quick random match and I just fucking ended up dominating uh yeah that's the R Jarja the holy fuck and that was 552 the level 2 usually a lot of these suits that are like 500 and they go to 550 they don't do as well at 550 or if they have like a level 3 or something like that uh, the first thing that comes to mind is the Gabaldi Beta. 
I'm trying to remember what the zero. No, zero Shiki's native at 550, I think. Uh, can't think of anything else that comes to mind, but oh, the Gallus J, the Gallus J uh, is a little bit, a little bit lesser at 550 than it is at 500. Uh, this suit. Uh, I actually think it's way better at 550 than it is at uh, 500. Uh, just because you have those extra parts, that you uh, like one or two extra for your medium and long, and that can allow you to do a setup. And I I believe I'm still using the same setup that I've been using since the uh, initial thought, not the initial thoughts video, the uh, the first match with the R Jarja video. If you want to see what that setup is. I believe I have it to where my ballistic resistance, which is this thing's one main weakness, because it's like 10, uh, I pop, jumped that up to 31 or somewhere around there, and then I left its beam resistance at 22, uh, melee resistance I believe is kind of at where it is, and then I just went uh, like straight melee damage, and then I think level 2 leg armor so I can survive some leg shots because this thing does have low uh, leg health because it is a Gian technically uh, or based off of it and uh, yeah that's the R Jarja and if you guys uh, like this video well like it and you know type up in the uh, the comment section uh, you know what you feel about this suit oh of course and subscribe too if you like this content and, you know if you like the uh, all that you know, I got plenty of videos, and speaking of, I actually got some few uh, playlists, too. Uh, playlists of all my older matches all the way from last year, and uh, some streams, too, if you want to watch a little bit of some streams. Got the playing a little bit of Maxi Boost and all that. And yeah, if you guys like this video, like the video, subscribe if you want. Really appreciate it. There we go. Now we got to the regular part of this. Uh, ending, <laughs> and, you know, type up in the comment section what you feel about the R Jarja. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, I keep saying it. I like the R Jarja. It's not shit. It's not uh, terrible at all. But man, it needs to be toned down a little bit. If I had to make a few suggestions, I would say uh, maybe make it so where it takes three uh, uncharged shots to stun. Maybe the shoulder buff buffer can be level three or two so you don't take 45 percent less damage from people when you're boosting towards them they hitting your shoulders around that area uh, i feel like that would help it and maybe make the beam bayonet do one swing only maybe i don't know i feel like that might be too much because it is a beam bayonet i feel like you can swing that a little bit more maybe lower the damage of it something like that I don't know just a few suggestions maybe uh, change the how the parts are so you don't have to uh, you don't have to you know make it where you can fix your flaws uh, like completely negate your flaws that you have and uh, yeah with that I'll see you guys later bye